Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea. And today what we're gonna talk about is alternate pouring of a kyusu. So we're gonna dive into the topic of how to brew or how to pour the tea when you do tea for at least two people. So um, what we have here is I have brought two glasses and also a kyusu. Kyusu, typical kyusu, so Japanese teapot with the side handle, very easy to pour like this when you use it. But today I want to show you a little bit what happens if you only do um, pouring a little bit here and a little bit there, or you really alternate the brewing and what the difference finally is. So first we have a tea I brought here, Fukamushi, which I just received from a farmer. Just a tea to test. So we're gonna take five grams of the tea and then we're gonna use this one here and pour some water in it. So 60 degree, 140 Fahrenheit as always. That's my favorite temperature. Then we give around 150 milliliters with this kyusu. So it's a quite a small one. And as it is a Fukamushi style tea, it doesn't take too long to brew. That's the pretty nice thing about Fukamushi with a lot of different other positive aspects to it. And now we just uh, gonna wait, sit and wait for a short amount of time. And then we see what the tea tastes like. So first thing what I will do is that I actually um, pour tea first in this one and then I end the pouring in this one. And then we're gonna see how the taste difference is between these two teas when we just do only one after the other. And then I'll explain you a little bit why this um, happens, that there is actually a taste difference. So this tea is brewed very quick. So then we're gonna do it like this. First one, first part, and then the second one. So you can really see just wait until all the water is out. So what I did now is just first this one here, then the second in the second glass. So the second half of the kyusu and you already see it in the brewing. So this one here is quite light in color. This one here is a little bit less light, so a little bit stronger. And let's see how the tastes are different. Mm -hmm. It's a certain sweetness to the tea. It's quite light. It's quite watery. So like a little bit of watery light. There's not a lot of complexity. There's a little bit of sweetness. I get a little bit of a sunflower seed taste. No. And that's more or less it. So not a lot, uh, not a very deep tea, not a very tasty tea, not a tea which is giving a lot of flavor. Meanwhile, this one here. Mm. Huge difference. Here we get a real fresh citrusy note. I get a little bit of the sunflower seeds. Then I get a little bit of artichoke. Mm. And a little bit of the sweet corn umami flavor. So I get a lot, a uh, very rich tea. And the problem is that if you want to share a tea and you give your guest the tea which I drank first, he will not be very satisfied about, um, about the result. And he will say, I don't like Japanese green tea. This you don't have to serve me ever again. But what is important is actually that you get the same taste in both of the tea glasses. So I got just going to finish this on here. Mix it together and gives a very, very nice tea. It's even more sweet, it's less fresh, it's less astringent as well. So this tea has a little bit the tendency to go in the astringent uh, side, but um, when I mix these two together, it's actually a very sweet, fine and round tea with a little bit of a citrusy note. So this is actually the taste note I want to get into my tea when I drink it. And I want to share this experience with the partner, with somebody I drink the tea with. So what I will do is that on the second brewing now, I 
I'll do the alternate brewing. So I will take this. Then you just put the glasses side by side and what you will do is now alternate. And this really helps you to really get the same taste in both of the tea glasses. And the more you alternate, the closer the two tastes will become. So you're just gonna build a little bit here, 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 and a little bit here. A little bit here. So you really can see that both of them, I will just uh, show you the close up very fast, but really go from side to side, from side to side to side to side to side to side to side. If there are some drops dropping beneath or kind of on the side of the glasses, this is not so bad. Just look that you really alternate nicely and that you pour the same amount of water in both glasses. So you can see the, cl the colors are the same. So they're really, really similar the two teas so this is something which is the alternate pouring doing that you have both of the teas very close to each other or both of the glasses containing a very similar tea but let's see if i made it right so first one mm -hmm. nice summer grass taste profile a lot of sweetness in the middle and now changing over in a little bit of an astringency. So this tea kind of changes over into a nice astringency, giving you a grassy flavor profile, sweet flavor profile, and then going over in the citrusy, a little bit astringent note. Let's see if the second one is the same. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, grassy, sweet and then going over into this citrusy a little bit fresher note so this is very important so when you do tea for somebody else when you pour in different glasses really try to alternate as much as possible you can also just alternate some time but like some um, some pours it brings these tea closer together but if you can just alternate as much as you can from one from one to the other and then you will have similar glasses the reason why the alternate brewing is so important or the alternate pouring is so important that the tea which is actually resting while you're pouring the kyusu or the water of the kyusu in your glass the tea water which is still in the kyusu continues to brew in this little teapot so it gets stronger and if you just pour here a little bit and then in the second glass the rest you will have in the second glass a very strong tea and in the first glass a very weak tea that's why the alternate brewing is so important and that what what you have to do and that's what you can see when you go to japanese tea shops actually they always alternate between the two glasses if they pour you a sencha Okay, so this is this for today. I hope you liked it too. And if you ever have a question, do not hesitate to ask me. I'll be more than happy to answer them. See you soon and bye-bye.